something truly special about Louisville, and what you just saw was just a taste of the new city song called Lift Up Louisville that was created to help keep the community spirits up while we're all working together to practice social distancing. Joining me today are just two of the talented people behind the song, Teddy Abrams and Ben Solee. Thank you both so much for talking with me today. Hi there. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So first off, Teddy, how did the idea to do a Louisville song come about? Well, it actually came right from the top. It came from Mayor Fisher, uh, and he's been asking for a Louisville song for some time now, I think pretty much since I got to town. And he keeps on saying, uh, Teddy, how's that song coming along? When are we going to get our, our city song? And I think he was referring to other cities that have uh, the city's name in the song, like New York, New York, or I Left My Heart in San Francisco. He wanted to have a Louisville song. So when this whole... Uh, the situation started and we all had to stay at home. He called and he asked me to help uh, this organization called Lift Up Lou that was uh, started by the city to spread uh, all kinds of you know, joy or excitement and keep us connected as we all had to stay inside. And he had just one request. He said, through this Lift Up Lou, can you actually create a song that we've been talking about for, for a while now. And I promised him I would uh, do everything that I could to, to get this song going, but I really didn't know how to do it, especially now that we were all apart and, uh, and, and distant. So that was when I called my very good friend of many years and, and a great colleague and collaborator, Ben Solee, who's so uh, respected within the musical community. And I, I knew that Ben would have some great ideas about how to actually do this, especially with musicians all over the place. The one thing that we agreed on from the beginning is that we wanted people to contribute to this from all of Louisville's uh, music uh, genres, from all the great uh, different backgrounds that we have represented in our city. And we wanted this to be a reflection of Louisville as it is right now and, and really represent our city in the broadest, diverse ways. And so that was what got us started. And is it true that like the, the kind of seed of the beginning of the song was a piano, the piano part that you wrote? Is that right? Yes, it was a piano track that I pretty much wrote and actually improvised in a way uh, straight through and thought, well, that seems like that could really work. And, and I recorded that in a very basic version. And we use that as the, the kind of uh, spine of the work. And then all of the other contributors that it started to become a part of the project use that to, to add on and and uh, and reshape and build and uh, it came a very very long way in actually a short space of time. And Ben, I know this was such like a huge collaborative project. Is it true that you were the person that kind of brought all the pieces together? And like, how challenging was that? Yeah, I mean, my role was obviously you know kind of being the technical production manager, but also the curator at the end of the day, um, you know, we invited a lot of musicians to be part of this song. And we ha ended up having about 27 contributors. Um, and those 27 came from, uh, you know, all sorts of different musical backgrounds, genres, age, gender. And, um, you know, so we're really proud of the diversity on the track. And when it was all set and done, we had a big track of music with lots and lots of parts that if you were to play it, it would just kind of sound like a cacophony of sound. So it had to be kind of whittled down at some point. So that was one of the main roles that I played. And technically, you know, it is a bit of a challenge to try to get artists collaborating together and get, especially on a musical piece that needs to be synced in time and space. Um, when some of those artists don't really have any recording capabilities in their home. And of course, we wanted to respect all the physical distancing and social distancing guidelines that are given to us. So um, we had to get creative in some instances, you know, some people holding up two devices, listening on one, singing into another in a closet. Um, but, you know, many of the artists in the earlier part of the project did have access to you know, they're a small home recording studio or project studio, and that really helped bring things together. And um, they would send me tracks through Dropbox, Google Drive, texting, emails, all sorts of things. And it was kind of my task to, to bring those together and line them up on the same timeline and, and make some curatorial choices. Just kind of string them all together. Yeah, all the different forms of, I, I can only imagine of putting all the pieces together and how exciting it was too when everything starts clicking into place. Well, I'm a big fan of Legos. I love Legos. <laughs> um, and this was not the universal interlocking system that Legos are, uh, but it was, it, was, it was also really fun to see it come together. It was very much puzzle-like for sure. 
And so this song really is like the Louisville all-star team of musicians. So I got to ask, has there been any talk at all that once it's okay to do so of coming together for a live performance of the song? Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah I was about to say, somebody's yeah. mentioned this already. Well, and yeah, absolutely. And I, I think there's this bigger idea now that we we have been working on with Mayor Fisher, who um, I think we believe that there's a real chance that cities around the world might want to do the same thing. And we can create this kind of quilt of songs that, that each city builds to reflect their town and their musicians and their outlook on, on the world. Uh, and I could really imagine that one day there's the ability for all these cities to come together. I and mean, who knows, maybe it's a, a touring thing. I mean, I'm just dreaming big here, but there could be a touring uh, kind of platform with all these musicians from their different cities uh, uh, playing their songs. And who knows, it could raise a ton of money for, for the, the rebuilding efforts that we know are gonna be uh, the next phase of the response to the current situation. And speaking of that, I understand that the proceeds from the song are going to, it's all going to help others. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, all of the proceeds, which we make from uh, either people buying the song or from streaming it on Spotify or uh, Apple Music, for example, are all going to the one Louisville COVID-19 response fund, which is the city's official fund that, that was helping out first with uh, emergency aid and now uh, in the transition to rebuilding. It's a part of the, the Community Foundation of Louisville and uh, it's done incredible work. Actually, it's remarkably uh, uh, well uh, stocked. It's an incredible fund when you compare it to other cities that are much larger that this fund is really uh, a reflection of the generosity of our town. And we wanted to do our part to contribute to uh, a cause that, that we think is important for everybody and if people want to check out the song and video where's the best place to go yeah they can go to youtube and just type in lift up louisville spell out the whole word louisville um there's also uh lift up lou which is the social media um, campaign that the city has set up along with teddy to help celebrate uh you know businesses artists nonprofits showing up for the community um providing activities and inspirational things for uh, for folks. So if they go to the Lift Up Lou social media channels, they can find it there. Awesome. Ben and Teddy, thank you both so much for all that you do for our community to just make it a more entertaining place, honestly, and bringing people together. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for sharing this, this story of the song.